Hello guys, welcome to another Wicked Ninja tutorial. I just want to say thank you to Gentlemen for giving me the idea for this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create kind of a radio chatter effect. Okay, I'm going to give you an example of what I've done before. Okay, let's get started. Now first off, I'm going to import a sound file to edit. So we go to File, Import, Audio, then select this one here. Open it. On this screen, don't worry, just make sure that make a copy of the files before editing is selected. So hit OK. And this is our sound file. Let's give it a play. Come on, talk to me. Talk to me. Say something. Now, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can access this file as well. So let's edit it. Select it all by clicking Control A. Go to Effect, Equalization, and it comes up with this screen. Don't worry, it does look complicated, but just make sure that you select a line, the select a line, is up at 30 dB. Then hit OK. Now, as you can see, it has affected it a lot. I wouldn't recommend playing it because it might damage speakers. To make it OK to play, make sure it's all selected, click Effect, and then go down to High Pass Filter. On this screen, make sure you roll off is 48 dB and cut off frequency 1000. And now it's cleaned it up a bit. Let's play it to see what's happened. Come on, talk to me. Talk to me. Say something. As you can hear from that, it sounds like it's coming from like a, a broken old tinny stereo. You can do it again, which I'm going to do now. Come on, talk to me. Talk to me. Say something. To give it a bit more of that effect. As you can hear from it, Things are getting distorted, it's cracking, it's breaking up. Okay, second part of this tutorial is about noise. There's three types of noise. White noise, pink noise, brown noise. White noise is the most common and the most well known. Pink noise is useful for making waterfall effects. And brown is a bit deeper than pink. So let's show you how to generate some noise. First off, I'm going to mute this audio track so we can't hear it. Then go to track, add new, stereo track. Then make sure this is selected. Go to generate, noise. To make it easier to understand, change the duration to hours, minutes, seconds. And then put in three seconds. Make sure the noise type is white. And the amplitude to 0 0.1. And hit OK. Just move this around. That's okay. It should do. Then hit play. As you can hear, there's some nice static sounds. I'd recommend just lowering the volume a bit. That's pretty much how to generate white noise. So, if we unmute this audio track. And just edit it up a bit, like so, and then listen to it, see how it sounds. Come on, talk to me, talk to me, say something. Do that again for you. Come on, talk to me, talk to me, say something. So I'm combining that white noise that's just in the background, giving it a bit of a hiss, and then the lady talking quite urgently. That's pretty much it. If you do like my tutorials, then by all means, please comment, like, and subscribe. Before I go, I just want to say thanks again to Jen Min for asking for this tutorial. Also, I just want to thank Ipanodi at freesound.org for the use of his sound clip. Thanks a lot, guys.